Hi students, problem number 14. A train crossed a 350 meter long platform in 46 seconds and 725 meter long platform in 58.5 seconds. Find the speed of the train. It's a very good question. We have to understand the question first of all. There are two platforms. One smaller platform is having a length of 350 meter. And the time taken to cross this is 46 seconds. And another platform is longer one. Its length is 725 meter. So the train takes little more time that is equal to what 58.5 seconds. So T1 is equal to 46 and T2 is equal to 58.5 seconds. And this is the train. The length of the train is taken as L. So when the train is crossing the first platform of length 350 meter, how much distance the train will travel to cross the platform? That is equal to the length of the train L plus 350 meter. Understand? Next, the distance traveled by the train while crossing the second platform is equal to what? The length of the train L plus 725 meter. So the train is crossing both the platforms with the same speed. The speed of the train must be the same here. Have you understood the concept? The train is not altering its speed according to the platforms. Only the length of the platforms are different, time taken to cross the platforms are different, but the speed of the train is same. So it is not given anywhere. Okay, it is not given anywhere. So I will take let uh, speed of uh, the train. Let the speed of the train is uh, equal to x. Okay, let it be x. So for platform one, for platform. 1. The speed of the train uh, x uh, must be equal to the distance travelled by the time t1. So x must be equal to what? So this implies what uh, x uh, must be equal to the distance travelled is uh, L plus 350. For the first platform this is L plus 350 divided by the time taken is 46. Okay. Now for the second platform, for platform 2, how much uh, is uh, the distance travelled is L plus 725, time taken is 58. So the same speed here also, so this is equal to distance travelled uh, divided by, so D1, D2 also we can write, uh, divided by time T2. So this implies X is also equal to the length of the train L plus 725 and divided by the corresponding time is 58.5 second. So this is a equation 1 and this is a equation 2. So now I am going to rewrite the equations 1 and 2 in a different form also. So L plus 350, L plus 350 also can be written as what 46 into x. So 46 into x and l plus 725 is equal to 58.5 x so this is second equation can be rewritten l plus 725 is equal to 58.5 into x so i have converted the equations 1 and 2 in the form of linear equations it will be still easier to solve now i am going to subtract i am going to subtract the first equation from the second equation so this is uh, when I subtract uh, L and L get cancelled. So this is L plus 725 minus L minus 350. The left hand side will come like this. This must be equal to what? Uh, 58.5 into X. 58.5 minus 46 into X. So that this uh, L get cancelled. 725 minus 
so this will be 375 725 minus 350 is 375 so this must be equal to right hand side 58 so this is this will be 12.5 so this is 12.5 into x okay into x therefore what is the value of x is equal to 375 divided by 12.5 so multiplying by 10 on both sides this is 3750 divided by 100 and 25. Now 125 if you multiply by 3 it will be exactly 375. Is it not? So this is 30. This is equal to 30. Therefore the speed of the train is equal to 30 meters per second. So here is the length of the train also we have found. What is the length of the train if you want to find the from the equations, any one of these, you can find the length of the train also. But they have asked only the speed of the train. So the speed of the train is found to be 30 meters per second. So which of the option is correct is option A itself is the right answer. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Okay, I hope you must have understood well. Fine.